Hello, I thought I'd give you a quick demonstration of the heart bleed attack. I'm going to use a uh, little Magento store that I've set up here. Um, as you can see, I'm not logged in up here. Um, Mr. Bieber is trying to get me to buy his latest CD. Uh, let's see uh, Let's see how we go. Now, first thing we're going to do is kick off the, the heart bleed attack. I'm using the, the Python version of this. There's a few different exploits out there, but I happen to like this one. Uh, and we're going to poll the server every second. Write out the 64k of memory that we get back into a file, temp heartbleed out, and kick that off. And uh, over here, we'll just tail the file. The uh, you'll see, yeah, it's a pending data to that. Before we go any further, uh, let's have a quick look in there because you never quite know what you're going to get and when you're going to get it. Uh, we'll have a little scroll through, uh, see what we've got. Nothing too interesting on that occasion. Let's scroll down, carry on going. Uh, some interesting stuff there. Looks like bits of a uh, HTTP request. Uh, there's definitely some bits of an HTTP request. Looks like we've got a cookie uh, value there as well for the front end, so we might come back to that. Uh, that's definitely more stuff. Ah, now that looks interesting. So here we've got the contents of a post request which was previously made for, it looks like a user registering on the uh, site. You can see here they've registered a username as pwned at forearm.com with a password, I am pwned. That could be interesting. Let's, uh, let's get straight in there. I am pwned. Log in. Look at that, beautiful. So what we've done there, kill that off. Just to summarise, we've gone. We were an unauthenticated user. We've uh, we've run the Heartbleed script. We've looped through. We've returned 64k of memory each time from the server. We've written it into a file. We've looked through the file, and um, we've immediately recovered some uh, user credentials that we've then used to log into the site. That's a completely unauthenticated remote attack, and you won't detect it in your logs. Pretty serious stuff, so uh, get patching.